Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So how many years will it take for an investment to double in value if it earns 4% compounded semi-annually? So formula for the future value in a compound interest, that's the principal times 1 plus j to the power n, where j is the interest per period, so that's the rate over the compounding period, and n is the number of periods, that's the compounding period times the time. So since in the problem, double the value or double the principal, so therefore this future value is equal to 2 times p, that's double the principal, then substitute this 2p to this future value on this formula. So this becomes 2p then equals p times 1 plus j to the power n. Then simplify, so divide by p both side, cancel p. So we have now 2 equals 1 plus j to the power n. Then in the problem, so we have this 4%. This one is the rate, so the rate is 4%. Then convert to decimal, that's 0 0.04. Then since compounded semi-annually, so therefore, the compounding period is equal to 2. So to solve for this interest per period, so we have j equals the rate, that's 0 0.04, divide by the compounding period, that's 2. So therefore the interest per period, so we have this 0 0.04, divide by 2, that's 0 0.02. So j is equal to 0 0.02. Then for this number of periods, that's n. So we have this the compounding period. That's 2 times the time. So this one is the unknown. So therefore n is equal to 2 times the time. So substitute these values to this formula to solve for the time. So we have now 2 equals 1 plus j, and j is 0 0.02 to the power n, and n is equal to 2 times the time. Then simplify, so we have 2 equals, so this 1 plus 0 0.02, that's 1 0.02 to the power 2 times the time. Then to solve for the time, so we need to put ln both sides. So we have this ln2 equals ln 1.02 to the power 2 times the time. Then from the properties of logarithm, that ln x to the power n equals n times ln x. So therefore, we can rewrite this one as ln2 equals, so this exponent, we can put this one before this ln1.02 from this property. So we have 2 times the time, then ln1.02. And to solve for the time, so divide both sides by this ln1.02. Divide by ln 1.02. So therefore, this ln 2 divide by ln 1.02. So we have ln 2 divide by ln 1.02 equals that's 35.0028. So this one is 35. 0 0.0028 then equals this 2 times the time then to solve for the time divide both sides by 2 
So therefore, the time is equal to, so we have 35.0028 divided by 2, so that's 17.50. So the time is equal to 17.5 years.